Grant, you need mm. to eat that water ice quickly because it won't last that long in this heat. Oh my gosh, I was going to say I'll take all of it mm -hmm. too. I mean, I'll, with this heat, you'll need something to keep you cool every hour of the day as we head through the rest of the afternoon. You're right though, eat it quickly because man, it is hot out there. It's humid and we're going to have to watch for the chance for some showers and storms as well as we go through the second half of the afternoon. Let me take you down to Margate right now. What an awful view, right? Low cloud cover, some fog coming in. This is what happens when we get a lot of moisture in the atmosphere, hot air mixing with the relatively cool air coming off of the Atlantic, producing this low visibility. It cools the air temperature down to the dew point, producing that condensation. And there we are left with a layer of fog and low cloud cover down the shore. That's also actually contributing to the cooler temperatures that we're finding down the shore as well. Even though we have a heat advisory in effect just inland and that excessive heat warming across the Delaware Valley, Temperatures in Atlantic City relatively cool right now at 79 degrees. A short drive across South Jersey. Temperatures in Vineland are at 92 degrees. Look at Philadelphia, 93 degrees right now. Current temperatures 93, but the excessive heat warning indicating those feels like temperatures could approach 106 degrees later on this afternoon. Right now in Philadelphia, those feels like temperatures are at 103 degrees. I'll take a little wind, though it feels like a, a blow dryer. South wind at 12 miles per hour, gusting to 21 miles per hour. Look at the feels like temps around the rest of the area. Dover feels like 105. Everybody just scorching for the next few hours until we watch the chance for some scattered showers and storms roll in. That will bring a threat for some severe weather, mainly gusty winds and some heavy rainfall. But at least it will temporarily cool us off. It'll still feel like a sauna, though, just with the high dew points and the high relative humidity. There are a few very isolated showers popping up north of Trenton right now, but the bulk of the showers and storms are approaching Lancaster County up into Berks County. We'll watch those. Nothing severe right now, but we could see some strong to severe weather. Right now, a marginal risk that we see some of those severe storms through the second half of our day. But I think the more widespread impact is going to be that concern for heavy rainfall that may result in some flash flooding. Watch the timing here as we put the forecast model into motion. You see as that area of showers and storms moves across the area, three, four, five o'clock. I think that'll be the biggest concern time frame as that area of shower and thunderstorm activity moves out towards the east. Some trailing showers isolated in nature for the first half of tonight. And then tomorrow morning, we should start off with mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. We'll then see another round of more showers and storms move across the region tomorrow afternoon. Same deal. We'll watch out for the possibility of some damaging winds and heavy rainfall that could result in some flash flooding. That frontal boundary slowly moving across the area will again be a focus for some scattered showers and storms as we go into Sunday afternoon as well. Today, though, for the next couple of hours, take it easy with that extreme heat. High temperatures near 95 feels like temperatures up around 106 before the storms begin to roll in through the second half of the afternoon into the early evening hours. Those storms will be around earlier on. Otherwise, partly cloudy skies, very muggy tonight. Though low temperatures will be around 76. It'll still feel like the lower 80s as we head into early tomorrow morning. The seven day forecast remains relatively unsettled through the weekend. We can't rule out some afternoon showers and storms into Sunday as well. Right now, Monday looking mainly dry but hot again, back up to around 93 degrees. And then as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, we'll bring back that chance for afternoon storms. Temperatures though next week will be cooler in the 80s, if not by Thursday highs in the upper 70s.